What's up, guys? Show for gamers. I'm Jay. That's Al. Hi. And we are reviewing um, Saw, which you can get on the PS3 or 360. Mm. And yeah, it's based off of the movies, which I think the movies are kind of retarded. But I didn't play this game for that specific reason. Yeah. But one of our subscribers said, "Hey, sent us an email on." Can you review that? Yeah, who .com. Hey man, can you review that? Because I haven't seen no reviews for it anywhere. So he said, alright. So first thing I want to thank Tony Hawk 19909 because that's who requested it. So thank you for requesting it because this game isn't shit. It's not shit at all. Pretty fun to play. Surprise. Basically, it's a survival horror game, yet it takes place in the Saw universe. You're basically going mm -hmm. from point A to point B, exploring rooms, creepy hallways, dodging... Shotgun door traps, shotgun trip lines, spike traps, other captured saw Contest subjects, contestants, contestants because it's a game of the game, you know, whatever. Um, you're basically going through this crazy yeah. asylum, and you're like, wait a minute, why the fuck would these goddamn like other people in the place be attacking you? Here's why. Ooh. Uh, Jigsaw basically put a key in you, and that key disarms all their traps and shit. They're yeah. like. A you know, they have the attached to their head the jaw and shit. ones. Yeah, the jaw snapper and things and the shotgun. Yeah. So you have a key inside you. They all know about it. They're trying to kill Every you. Every time they key. see you, they run at you trying to kill you. So. In my opinion, that's pretty goddamn ingenious. Yeah, it's like, why, why the fuck would these people be trying to thank you? Um, the game starts out. You got that jaw thing clamped your head. You got to spin your joystick. Oh, click A. Spin your joystick. Oh, click B. Spin it. Rip it off, you know. So it's like... Time active events. The game is really intense yeah. because usually, like, if you can't figure out the puzzle, you die. Yeah. And I think that's you really don't get that a lot anymore. I mean, puzzles in general. You do not get puzzles in general in video games no. of this caliber it, anymore. Yeah, and even like there's puzzle game stuff, but they don't have time limits like these do. Yeah. Um, you're usually trying to. The story is actually pretty well written. I think it takes place between Saw One and Two, or Saw Two and Three. I cannot remember exactly. <sighs> it takes place within two of the Saw movies. You're, you're pretty much playing a detective that was obsessed with him and has been captured. Trying to, and trying to find, you know, and capture Jigsaw, and he captures him and says, "Huh." I mean, you're gonna see a lot of stuff from that universe. Um, it's pretty cool. I mean, there's a room where I don't know what the fuck I was thinking, but basically, there's x-rays on the wall and there's four bodies and yeah. there's a key in one of the bodies and it shows where the key is and which body yeah it shows i didn't that. even notice x-rays i started cutting up the bodies and three of the bodies were alive so i killed people yeah so i went looked at them all like oh there's a name he's got the key in it went toe tags oh that guy in okay. general the enemies are varied most of the time they're fighting each other including you like i said before there's guys with traps on that's why they're trying to attack you there's also guys with the shotgun collars on. Mm. Later in the game, you get a shotgun collar, and if they get close to you, yours starts arming itself, and theirs has basically, their timer starts on theirs. So they have to kill you before theirs goes off to get the key. Yeah. Easy thing you can do here is just get the fuck away from them, shut a door, bolt you just it, gotta run. kill, kill yeah. them before they get to you. Basically, you want to put distance in between them. Now, the reason I'm mentioning this, along the lines of there's also another enemy that has a bomb, like an armed grenade, in a yeah. little cage in his hand, same thing, you want to put distance between him. My point is, most of the time you're not actually fighting hand-to-hand -hand combat with, like, mop handles and pipes and scalpels. And, you know, you're not fighting with those necessarily all the time. Most of the time, those are puzzles, too. Like, get the fuck away you're from You're like, oh, guy. crap, here's a car guy, I got my car on. I have to figure out a way to get away from him. Like, the room you saw me playing in, a guy basically had a box attached to his head so he couldn't see yeah. me. And he's just panicking, so he's trying to get me. Well... There's shotgun traps all over the room, which you can disarm and rearm for yourself. So I was rearming them and getting him to walk through. Sure. Well, since he has this big tin on his head... box, it's just... The shots are just hitting his head. And he's, yeah, he's kind of being damaged. So bit. you can either lead him through a bunch of that, or to lead him to, basically, an electrical wire that's in a puddle. Like, yeah. The game gets really varied. Um, like I said, most of the puzzles are like, hey, dude, if you don't solve this, you're fucked. So mm -hmm. the game is a kind of constant sense of... This is really creepy. Should I go forward? What the hell was that? To shit him out the room. Oh god, I gotta finish it. Yeah. Okay, no, where do I go now? Like, so it kind of it's plays like, this emotional. Yeah, but most of the time, I'm like, you know, slowly walking through these dark corridors looking for trip wires and stuff, and the next thing I know, yeah, I'm in the next room. Oh, you have one and a half minutes to get out of this room and before everything explodes yeah. and stuff. So the game isn't crazy. like RPG long by any sense, but no. you'll still play. 
four or five, maybe six hours, depending upon your play style, but yeah. it's nothing long by any aspect. Um, this is a great game to rent. Yeah. Um, achievement wise, oh my god. You, How long did you play? You had 105. In like the first half hour, yeah, I was at like 105. I mean, they range from you, like, getting your first kill with each one of the weapons is an achievement. Yeah. Um, unlock your first door, fight your first NPC, kill your first minion, that's like Die two achievements for time. one. Yeah. You get 20... stand, stand still for five minutes, shit like that. Yeah. Yeah, you get 22 points for dying. Which... So, is gonna happen, trust I me. think fans of Saw should buy this. The graphics aren't bad. Yeah. It's a very cool survival horror game, so it's worth picking up in the bargain bin. It's not necessarily worth 60 bucks, but... And at the point now, it's, there's no way it's still 60. No, no, you're gonna get it for less now, but... Yeah. I liked it a lot, so that's why it's over-renting a score, so we're gonna give it a 7 out of 10. Yeah. So, there you have it. That's Saw. Thank you, Tony Hawk. 19909. You guys can always request if there's another game. The it game it, yeah, it kind of comes down to whether or not we can get a copy, what we have scheduled for the show. Yeah. We'll try to do something for you. Yeah, that type yeah. of stuff. Okay. Next week, baby, Mass Effect 2 oh. and Meg. Oh. I don't know if both those episodes are going to come out next week, but we'll see. They might be just playing Mass Effect, sorry. <laughs> I don't know. Mm. All right, episode 22 is called Man in the Water, Lady in the Air.